Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today's video is the fifth installment in the makeshift frozen turkey dinner series for people who cannot or choose not to enjoy the Thanksgiving feast with their dysfunctional family. It's a crotch party right up oh, in here. Why it. don't you lick on this big John? Stop it, Dale, stop it, stop it. That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> That's so funny. Last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. I'm not sure about you guys, but over the years, depending on the family member's house we went to for Thanksgiving dinner, there really was back and forth banner like that at the Thanksgiving table, which totally justifies buying a frozen turkey dinner to eat at home alone on Thanksgiving day in peace and quiet. The last frozen turkey dinner I tried was Boston Market's turkey breast medallions with mashed potatoes, gravy, and vegetables. If you missed that video and you want to see how it turned out, click the link right up here. Today's frozen turkey dinner is Stouffer's 16 ounce large size classic roast turkey breast dinner, which has turkey breast medallions and stuffing in a home style gravy with russet mashed potatoes and no preservatives. All of that for $2.88. Now the ingredients are listed pretty weird, and it's really hard to tell what's in what. But from what I can tell, the turkey is real turkey, and definitely not a four meat slurry concoction. And with it being real turkey, it makes you wonder why they feel the need to add turkey flavor. Oh, that's right, it's boring, fatless, flavorless turkey breast. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why they have to add turkey flavor. To all these food manufacturers, please start using dark meat. Even though there's still quite a few ingredients in here, this meal has the fewest ingredients in all the meals I've tried so far. The Whole Stouffer's Roasted Turkey Breast Medallions Dinner has 400 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 55 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,230 milligrams of sodium, 51 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 24 grams of protein. You can heat this meal in the oven or the microwave, and 45 minutes to cook in the oven is far too long for me, so I cooked it in the microwave. When I slid it out of the box, I was happy to see the mashed potatoes were separate from the meat, stuffing, and gravy, and wasn't all glopped together like in the Marie Callender's meal. The directions say not to vent, and then it goes into the microwave on high for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, uncover and stir the mashed potatoes. Then microwave for another three and a half minutes and then let it rest for one minute to finish cooking. After cooking for a total of eight and a half minutes and resting for another minute, our Stouffer's Classic Roast Turkey Dinner is ready to enjoy. Now did you guys notice the same thing I did when I unwrapped it? There's a whole lot of mashed potatoes, there's a whole lot of stuffing, a whole lot of gravy, and unless there's a whole lot hiding under the gravy and stuffing, there's not a whole lot of turkey but we'll find out in just a minute. This seems pretty common with these meals. That was the case too with the Marie Callender's meal. So I'm having a problem with these manufacturers calling these turkey dinners, when the turkey itself is the smallest portion of the meal. So I went in to try the mashed potatoes first, which there were a lot of mashed potatoes, and they were really nice, thick, and creamy. So into my face orifice they went to see how they tasted. And these potatoes tasted just like they looked, Delicious! And had I added a little pat of butter and some salt and pepper, that would have been a one-way ticket straight to Flavortown. But instead, I used the flavors already in the meal, and got a scoop of potatoes and dipped it in the gravy. And the gravy was good, which made the potatoes even better. Thankfully, the gravy wasn't salty as a salt lick, like it was in the banquet meal. This gravy had good flavor and really did taste like home-style gravy as it's advertised. Now I love dressing or stuffing, whatever you want to call it. We know this is really dressing, but they call it stuffing on the label. So for the purpose of the video, we'll call it what the manufacturer calls it. Stuffing. But this stuffing actually looked really good, and looked really moist. So I popped it into my pie hole to see if it even came close to my mom's homemade dressing. Although it didn't come close to my mom's homemade dressing, the flavor of the stuffing was really good and savory, but it was swimming with moisture. It was way too wet. Just imagine eating delicious, soggy bread. There was absolutely no texture to the croutons. Maybe, just maybe, the texture would have been a little bit better 
had I heated it in the oven. The stuffing was good enough that I wanted to take another bite for the flavor, but I also wanted to try a piece of the celery, and the celery did add just a little bit of much needed texture. Next, I went in to try one of the very few roasted turkey breast medallions. And just like with the Boston Market meal, I had to suck the gravy off the meat so that you, the people, could get an up close and personal look at the turkey. There's no limit as to what I'll do for you, the people, so you don't have to. And you can tell just by looking at them that they're real pieces of turkey and they look pretty good. And when I gave it a try, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't as moist as I would have liked it, but for turkey breast, it wasn't too bad. Now it was time for a final bite of everything all mixed together. The mashed potatoes, the stuffing, the turkey, and the gravy. And all together, it looks pretty darn good. And once everything was together, you didn't notice the sogginess in the stuffing as much. But I still got the good flavor from the stuffing. The last bite of everything was pretty darn good. So here's my final thoughts on Stouffer's Classics, Roasted Turkey Breast Medallion's Meal with Stuffing, and Homestyle Gravy and Mashed Potatoes. I have some mixed feelings about this meal. The mashed potatoes were really good. They were nice, thick, rich, and creamy, and delicious. Dip them in some of that homestyle gravy, and they're even better. The stuffing had a great flavor to it. It was very savory and delicious, but it was really soggy, which left no integrity to the stuffing. The turkey was real turkey, but to me it was a little bit on the dry side. But that could just be me, because I'm biased towards dark meat. But the one thing that really makes me angry about this meal and some of the other meals is the very inadequate amount of turkey they give you. They shouldn't even be called turkey dinners, more like a mashed potato and stuffing dinner with turkey. Which is why I'm giving Stouffer's Classics, Roasted Turkey Breast Medallions with Stuffing, and Homestyle Gravy and Mashed Potatoes a 5 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.